in 1952. I could have been dead and gone, but I'm still here at the age of 62. I'm still here. When I think about this, I always struck with one thought that is, be thankful, be grateful that my life was spared for the purpose. My name is Yoshinobu Namihira. I'm a general internist and gastroenterologist. I was born in Yonaguni Island, Okinawa, Japan. And in 1952, I was struck by polio. Even today, I have an aftermath. It's obvious that Yoshinobu Namihira is no ordinary doctor. His battle with polio as a child may have left him permanently disabled, but his story is proof that even life's most devastating events can have unexpected and beautiful outcomes. At the age of 13, I was sent to Okinawa Hospital for Handicapped Children. When I was in uh, Yonaguni Island, in a small uh, island, I thought I was the worst, but when I get to the hospital, and then look around that day one, when I saw the children of various disabilities, I wept, I wept. I went to my room and I wept. The very night, I made a decision. I want to become a doctor and serve people. With a newfound mission to help others, and knowing the lifelong physical limitations he would face, Yoshinobu set his focus on studying for the college entrance exam. It's very competitive. It's unlike the United States. <laughs> Not everybody can go to the college. You have to go through the uh, entrance examination, and I failed. When I failed the entrance examination, it was a big blow. Intellectually, I was very depressed. I was very disappointed. I almost thought I was going to commit my su uh, suicide. But this is when it's very interesting. I remembered my mother. I remembered my mother. My father left the Yonaguni Island, never came back. Never came back. Basically, our family was deserted. So now we have a single parent raising one girl, two boys, and, and uh, the youngest one was me, with the polio. It was one of the difficult moments for my family. Faced with raising three children on her own with no financial means, Yoshinobu's mother had also considered suicide. But instead, she had found the courage to leave her children with her parents, travel to Okinawa to study nursing, and return with the skills to serve others and support her family. As a young boy, it was very easy to say, well, what is the easy exit? Commit suicide. But I thought, no, it's not fair, because my mother worked so hard, and said, no, I cannot do it, and I disgraced my mother. So I wait one year and study hard from 5 o'clock in the morning all the way to 12 o'clock at midnight. No uh, uh, sightseeing. Study, study, study. And as a result of the hard working and the diligent study, after one year, I was admit, uh, admitted to the University of Rutgers successfully. So that was very good, good days. <laughs> Two years later, Yoshinobu was accepted as a foreign exchange student to Ambassador College in Pasadena, California. A year after that, he went to La Sierra University and then on to Loma Linda University to pursue his childhood dream of studying medicine. In Loma Linda, it's very competitive. All my classmates are very smart. But I was not, uh, I was not the top of the class, so I was, I was really struggling to, uh, to pass the uh, examination and go through. But when I went to a religion class, uh, Dr. Graham Maxwell was teaching, and I was very impressed. One thing he taught me, and then I still remember even today, he said, be, if you become a physician, become a very good one. <laughs> Don't become a bad one. Become a very competent physician. 
at the same time get to know the patient and then and take care of the spiritual aspect. And that concept still stay with me in my bones and in my, uh, under my skin. The Father which is in heaven, both of them are suffering from a different ailment. Give them a time that he can be healed and restored completely. Most importantly, we can I know I have a handicap and I cannot do uh, what everybody can do and I admit I have no, uh, no issue. But to me, anything that I can do, I want to do. So what I do is I look at the situation and say, yes, life has many, many difficulties and struggle. I understand. But instead of looking at the negative aspect and say, oh, okay, man, that's, that's it, and say, look beyond, look beyond. There is a something more, more than that. In Japanese saying, it says, nanakorobi yaoki. What it means, you seven times fall, boom, 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 seven times fall, but eighth time you rise up. And I say, that's very interesting. It's very encouraging. What it, what it teaches you, the spirit of perseverance. Endure, endure, endure in spite of difficulty. Failure is a failure when you quit. But the failure is not the failure when you get up one more time. Nanakorobi yaoki. Seven falls, eight times you rise again.